G'day, I'm James. And today I'd like to talk about long division and try to see what's really going on with the whole story of long division. In fact, I kind of mean that literally, to see what's going on with that story. Now many people like to think of division as the reverse of multiplication. So just to get us going, let me do a quick multiplication problem and start drawing pictures for that and then see if we can start undoing those pictures for the fun of it. In fact, here goes. Let me try uh, 1302 times 3. Why not? Um, actually, I can see what the answer is going to be to that one. That's actually what going to be 3906. Okay, grand. But what's the picture to go with this? Well, I just said a lot of words there, 1,302. I'm speaking base 10, so I can represent this number in a uh, place value chart where we have the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. The ones, the tens, the hundreds, thousands, I guess I need those. If I want to go further, ten thousands, all the rest. Now, people who know me know I'd call that a 10-1 machine, but it's just really a place value chart. And when I say a number like 1,302, I'm literally saying one of these, 1,300. Three of these, three hundreds. I didn't mention any tens, and two, two units, two ones. Great. And in this multiplication problem being asked, please do that to it. Please triple everything. Please triple what you've got. Oh, I'm going to literally do that. I'm going to triple what I see. There's one dot. I'm being asked to triple. I'm going to triple the dot and make it three dots. There's another dot. I'm going to triple it and make it three dots. There's a dot. I'm going to triple it and make it three dots. There's a dot. I'm going to triple it and make it three dots. There's yet another dot. I'm going to triple it and make it three. Another dot. Triple it and make it three. So now I've got three dots in the thousands place, nine dots in the hundreds place, none in the tens place, and six in the ones place. Oh, I see the number 3,906. There it is. I literally see it. All right, so now, can we actually take this process? Oh, it's already tripled. Don't need that word anymore. It's done. Can I take that process and do it backwards? Suppose you didn't see the question. All you saw was the answer. Could I undo this? So let me do it over here. Let me draw the answer. Let me draw the answer of 3,906. Here it is again. It's a three dots, a nine dots, and no dots, and six dots. Here they are. And let me see if I can undo that multiplication. That can be expressed as this problem. 3,906 divided by three. What got tripled to give the answer 3,906? So I'm doing like the reverse multiplication thinking here. All right, well actually, that kind of thinking is great for this problem, because look, I'm asking what got tripled to give me this answer? And I look at the picture and say, oh, well, hang on, there is a group of three dots. There must have been one dot there that got tripled. In fact, there's a group of three dots. There must have been one dot there that got tripled. And this must have been a dot that got tripled. Another one there. And that's a dot that must have been tripled. Another one there. No dots there got tripled, but a dot here got tripled, and another dot there got tripled. So actually I'm going to see that one dot at the thousands level and three dots at the hundreds level and two dots at the units level got tripled. I can see, oh, it must have been one, three, zero, two. They got tripled. Aha! Uh -huh. So I kind of undid this. I love it. That's division. Now, of course, a lot of people like to think of division as groups or like how many threes to can you go into 3,906. And I'm actually seeing that too. I'm seeing one group of three at the thousands level. I'm seeing three groups of three at the hundreds level and two groups of three at the, at the units level. I'm seeing 1,302 groups of three in that picture. So in the groups of thinking, I'm also seeing it there. Wow. This is actually lovely. This is visual. This is beautiful. This feels like conceptual depth to me. Um, so let's just practice this some more and let's do another example. Uh, I'll keep it straightforward right now and let's do something like, uh, I don't know, 426 divided by 2. What got doubled to give the answer 426? The answer is 213. I can see that, but boy, in my mind I can see that, but I want to literally now see it with my eyes. Can we actually see the answer 213? What got doubled to make 4 and 2 and 6? So now I'm looking for doubles. What got doubled? Well, here's a dot that got doubled. One there. Here's a dot that got doubled. One there. Here's a dot that got doubled. One there. Here's a dot that got doubled. Another one and another one. Three dots there got tripled. Indeed. Two at the hundreds level, one at the tens level, three at the units level got doubled to give that picture of 426. Beautiful. Now, there can be a snafu, and let's see a snafu in an example like uh, this one. 416 divided by 4. Uh, again, I can tell what the answer is going to be. It's going to be 104. Okay, but let's see if we can see what's going on. So this time it's 416, 400, and 1t6. 
See, so English is weird. We don't actually say 1, 10, and 6. We say 16 all of a sudden. Curious. And now we're looking for groups of four. Uh, just to be really clear, four is literally four dots in a box. And I see that in only a couple of places. There's a dot that got quadrupled, one at the hundreds level. And there's a dot here that got quadrupled, one at the units level. And that's all I'm actually seeing right now. And it's got me a little bit nervous. I've got a queasy feeling in my tummy. Surely there should be more in there. In fact, I know the answer is meant to be 104, not 101. What's missing? What can I do? Plus, I've got this random stuff left over. It feels incomplete. It's all jarry. This is the lovely thing about math class, because you've got these human emotional reactions to these things, and they're legitimate, that have a human experience with maths. And let's see if you take a deep breath and do something. What clever thing could we do to push this forward some more? And then you realize, how, do, how does place value work? Well, we've always said that 10 ones make 10, and 10 tens make 100, and 10 hundreds make 1,000. The reverse would be 1,000 is really 10 of these, and 100 is really 10 of these, and one of these, 110, is really 10 of these, 10 ones. Let's use that to our advantage. This dot here is really 10 ones. Let me draw in 10 ones. The reason I'm doing that, because look at this, it's showing me loads more groups of four. That was 10 of them. Yes, 10 of them. Great. 10 ones, because look, there's another group of four. There's a dot that must have been quadrupled. There's a dot that must have been quadrupled. And there is a dot that must have been quadrupled. And indeed, that's all the dots. And I see the answer is 104 is what got quadrupled. Whoa, so this idea of undoing a dot, I call it unexploding in my exploding dot story. I think the curriculum calls it boring or regrouping or ungrouping, some words like this. Whatever it is, the visual is make, make 110 back to being 10 ones to see more groups. Very, very handy. In fact, it's particularly handy when it comes to doing multi-digit division. So let's go up a notch in difficulty. Let's do something like uh, 276 divided by 12. So start by drawing a picture of 276. Do, 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 do. Two hundreds, seven tens, and uh, six. Beautiful. And 12. 12 is going to be sneaky, because technically 12 should be 12 dots in a box. Except society doesn't allow me to have 12 dots in a box. They always want me to regroup tens. So this is actually, oh, think about this. 12 dots in a box. There's a group of 10. If 10 ones really makes one 10 and leave two behind. That's annoying. All 12 dots are really there, but carrying pushes one over to the left. Or in my language, exploding pushes one over to the left. So to keep in mind, what 12 looks like is one dot next to two dots, but all 12 dots are really in the right past most part of that picture. So 12, do we see any 12s in 276? What got multiplied by 12 to give this picture? So we're looking for one dot next to two dots. And do I see any one dot next to two dots? Why, yes, there's one dot next to two dots right there. Now let's be really clear in that pink loop, where are those 12 dots really? They all must have been here on the right part of the loop. And then kaboom, 10 of them explode to make the next one one place over. So all 12 dots were really there at that level. So there was one dot there that got multiplied by 12 and spillage pushed one over to the left. In fact, there's another one dot next to two dots. And again, all 12 dots must have been in the right part of that loop and boom, spilled over. So there's another dot there, dot there that got uh, multiplied by 12. Any other one dots next to two dots? Why well, yes, if you shift over one spot to here, there must have been 12 dots there. Kaboom, it spilled over. There must have been one group of 12 there. And again, there's one underneath that. One dot next to two dots. Right there. And actually, my loops are getting weird, but there's another one dot next to two dots. Right there. All 12 dots must have been here, and kaboom, it spilled over. So actually, I see the answer is two at the tens level, three at the ones level. The answer is 23, which I have to know is correct. Wow, I'm seeing multi-digit division. This is so fun. Let's keep going. Uh, let's try multi-multi-digit division. Let's try something crazy like a 4473 divided by 213. Whoa! Whoa! I'm into it. I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. So this is 4, 4, 4,000, 400, 7 T. T-Y means 10 in English. 7 tens and 3. Now, I'm looking for... 213s. Now, 213 dots in a box never happens in math class. In a place value chart, there's going to be lots of 10s that spill over and spill over and spill over. Actually, what 213 really looks like is going to be 
two hundreds, one ten, and three. It looked like two dots, one dot, three dots. With all dots really in the rightmost part of the loop, they're the rightmost part of the diagram, they must have all been there, but an awful lot of carrying or exploding or grouping, regrouping happened right from there. All right, so I'm looking for two, one, three. Two dots next to one dot next to three dots. I'm spanning over three boxes this time. Two, one, three. Two dots and one dot. That's all I need from that box and three dots. How's that? How's that for a crazy loop? Two, one, three. 213 dots must have been right there and a lot of explosions or group, groupings or carryings happen to spill it over to the left. Bingo. Any other two, one, threes? Why yes, two, one, and how am I gonna do this? And I can do a three like that. Two, one, three. Beautiful. Another one. 213 dots must have been here and all this spilling over to the left. But it all must have been there. And the other two, one, threes. Oh, yes. Uh, my picture's getting crazy, but two there and one there woo -woo, and three there. All 213 dots must have been here and lots of explosions pulling over to the left. One there. The answer is 21. Beautiful. Two at the tens level, one at the ones level. We can do multi multi digit divisions now. 21. In fact, as practice, if you like, 4473 divided by 21. Well, logic tells me it must have the answer 213. You want to try that once? Can you get 213 from that? Actually, this is actually really interesting. Um, a lot of people ask me right now, what if I change the picture to. Uh, oh, I just erased what I did. It was, I just did 4473 divided by 213. What if it was, say, 4475 divided by 213? 447123, 4, 5. You say, oh, as you do this, you'll do all the same work, but I have two dots left over. So you say the answer is, oh, 21. And depending on what grade level you're in, you might just say with a remainder of five, a rate of two, certainly mean two dots left over. Uh, some people use a big R, some people use a small R. Um, mathematicians might say it's literally 21 plus two more dots still waiting to be divided by 213. It'd be 21 plus two, 213. Bingo, beautiful. Or actually, if I made this four, five, seven, five, four, five, seven, five, then you'd say the answer is, uh, whoops, it's 213, is 21 still with a remainder of, oh, one dot, zero dots, two dots, remainder of 102. Or the math language, 21 plus 102, still waiting to be divided by 213. So if there are remainders, you will literally see them. They'll be right there before your very eyes. Beautiful, stunning, grand. So I'm going to put a couple of practice problems at the end of this video. Have fun practicing this stuff. It's just great. If you want to learn more, go check out the Exploding Dots story at globalmathproject.org. All grand, fun stuff. Gotta love it.